Hi, we're just about to get into the book's declutter from Marie Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And we're doing our whole home um, following the method, and we're just starting the second section. We just finished clothes. We'll put a link to our clothes somewhere around this general vicinity. Um, and we wanted to add, we were about to upload our video and realized we missed a couple, missed mentioning a couple of things. Um, which is that we are big book lovers and avid readers, but not of physical books anymore. Yeah, we like using Audible. Um, we probably listen to two books a month or so off of Audible, if not more. Uh, typically one fiction, one nonfiction. And then if we actually read something, we do it on, uh, on your Kobo, typically, right? Yeah. You read more than I do in, in actual print form. Kobo is the e-reader from Chapters Indigo. Yeah. I don't know if that's around in the States. I don't know either, but uh, yeah. In Canada. For, in Canada. Um, you can, we still have Kindle here too, but uh, but we went with Kobo. So. It sounds like a lot of plugs for products, but. Yeah, nobody's paying us to say this. No. We just didn't want you thinking that we're illiterate and only own four books. <laughs> oh, <no>. So. <laughs> yeah, we had done a purge probably like a year ago. We got rid of lots and lots. Yeah, that's not all of our books. We also have a couple hundred in uh, audiobook form and then, you know, probably 50 or so in your Kobo, which maybe we go through during the... Probably should, I guess. Yeah, say. I guess that's going to be part of our um, going through your electronic files as part of the Marie Kondo. Yeah. But that's going to be a big one. This is one thing we're finding with doing the method is you have so much stuff, you don't even know where to find it. So yeah. you, you think you've gathered it all, and then you realize like a week later, oh, there's a whole other stash of whatever it was you thought you already finished. So Anyway, we've gone on and on and on, and you want to see the video, so here it is. Hi everyone, this starts part two of the KonMari process, which is from the ma Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Uh, part two is books. So we've gathered all our books, we're gonna go through them one at a time, and keep or discard as they spark joy when we pick them up and touch them. Uh, our books are kind of piled all throughout the house and we've gone through them before and got rid of a lot. So there isn't a ton of books and we just pulled them all out. We're going to put them on the floor in one of our guest room uh, just to make it easier so I didn't show you the whole tour of where they were before. But let's get started. And this is the pile. This is all our books that we're about to start to go through one by one. Our baby woke up part way through, but that's okay. We're almost done. Let's turn the camera around and show you what we got here. There's Brutus. He's in the keep pile. Beside Brutus is a discard pile. These are all the books and magazines we're not keeping anymore. This little section is what we're going to keep. You'll notice the Marie Kondo book is staying. And last of all, here is just a couple maybe books that we're not sure yet if we want to keep or not. And we'll go through that. Okay, all done. These, this is the keep pile. Uh, there's 10 books in total. That is all. And this pile here is to be donated or sold. And the dogs for keeping. Right, Brutus? Are we keeping you? Yeah. Tussie? Are we keeping you too? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so we're done. What did you think about going through the books that we had kept? Uh, I didn't feel like we had many books. I still don't really feel like we have many books looking at them here, but you think we're getting rid of like 50 books, so. Uh, I counted it, it's actually 36. 36? Okay. So, still a good number. Decent number, and then we're keeping 10, so we had about 50 books. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, most of it was outdated. Most of it was just stuff that we're not doing anymore or isn't us anymore. Um, a lot I... of it's 
plans we had. Yeah. Things we bought that we thought we would do one day, like real estate investing. And we still, I think, are excited about doing that one day, but just the timing of the market isn't right now. Yeah, and I think seeing the books, you're like, oh yeah, that's the thing I wanted to do. Yeah. So I'm happy to let that go and buy books again at the time if needed, um, rather than spend the next five years looking at it every couple of months and being like, eh. Yeah. Yep. And the books will probably be less current even five years from now or ten years or whenever. So. And most books are 20 bucks, right? So I, mean, I think we had one in there for like $40. Um, so that's a fair bit, but especially if you see our other initiative right now, which is budgeting and uh, and saving money, which I'll link to above. <laughs> Shameless plug again. I'm good for that. Mm -hmm. So I, that's all we're gonna get with uh, with dogs playing with squeaky toys around us and babies in our lap right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move on to paper another day, I guess. When? Okay. No, when do I say when? <laughs> so confused. Uh.